Good. You want me to start this? Or? <coughs> you got it. You got it? I think 2272. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Every kid has a birthday. Uh, to the tune of 200,000 birthdays that happen in this country every single day for kids. And we believe that kids can give too, that that can change the world. We're on a mission. We want to create uh, an opportunity for children to really be able to give to charities that they can relate to and they care about. So we want to teach kids about giving. And we also want to help charities raise funds. And we can do these two beautiful things, and we can make money doing it. Um, so I found problems. I'm the mom of three. There was a point in my life when I was invited to two or three birthday parties every single weekend, tortured by that. Okay? And so, but when I was doing, when I was going to those birthday parties, I was actually doing field research and I didn't even know. So I found a few problems. Whoa. Okay? This is an actual player in my friend's house. Um, I actually had a room that looked like this uh, when um, I was parenting back in New Jersey. And I wasn't embarrassed about this room because I would go to my friend's houses and they'd have rooms that look just like these as well. Um, this is a real problem. Kids have too much stuff. Problem number one, birthday parties add to that. So parents are going out, they're buying gifts for kids they don't know. The gifts are unwanted, unneeded, often duplicated. Okay, and so that's my first problem. Kids have too much stuff. Problem number two, charities need money. Ask any charity, they're going to tell you what they need. They need money, and they need new, innovative ways to raise that money. I was a teacher for 20 years. And um, it was very important to me to teach, of course, the academics. And when I was teaching the academics, there was something that was equally important to me is that when kids left my classroom after being with me for an entire year, that they had uh, a good lesson on how to be a good human as well. Um, I provided opportunities for my kids to do fundraisers, for my kids to be caring about each other and um, our school community as a whole. And um, as a result of that, I saw how much kids loved it, thrived on it, wanted more of it. And we don't have enough ways for kids to show off their, their giving arts. That's problem number three. Problem number four, parents are busy. Anybody that comes up to me says, Barb, how you doing? The kids are great. The family's great. My business is going great. It's really growing. I'm excited about it. But I'm busy. It's the nature of the beast. Problem number four, planning for birthday parties is a time suck. And we can create better ways and easier ways to help parents save time with that. So I created the solution. Kids Can Give 2 is an, on is an online birthday party service that makes it easy for kids to share half of their birthday money with a charity. So parents simply sign on, take a few minutes, they put in all the birthday party information, where it is, when it is. Um, they send out the invitations, um, sort of like an evite, through our site. And on the invitation, which looks very much like this one, it simply says where the party is and, hey, Johnny's going to share half his money with Ronald McDonald House. So please don't bring a wrapped gift. RSVP, make your donation now. They do that, all they have to do is show up at the party. They love it because they're not going to Target, they're not having to wrap gifts, they're not wasting their money. Okay, And then we split the money. Half of the money goes to a charity, 40% goes to the child and a Visa gift card. Go buy something you want, something you need, not a bunch of junk, and kids can give two makes 10%. There's been a growing trend um, in, bir in charity birthday parties, that concept. Um, I was getting invitations that say, don't bring a wrapped gift, bring a bag of dog food. Or they wanted to give it to the local, the local you know, dog pound or whatever, or dog rescue. Um, so the great thing about this is, the, the, the thing about that was, it's, it's no fun for the kid. They're not getting a gift, right? So, and that's not real life. I always was important to me to teach, to teach about real life. So when you grow up, you don't give everything away. You don't make a salary and give everything away. You give some of it away. And Kids Can Give Too shows kids how to do that. We have a big vision. There, we believe that um, we can change the mindset of a generation by streamlining how we give gifts at kids' birthday parties. And we believe there's big money in it. Big money for charities, big money for kids, and big money for Kids Can Give Too. Let me show you how. The average Kids Can Give Too birthday party um, raises $300. So the 10% cut for Kids Can Give Too is $30. Um, what I'm proposing is 5,000 parties a month, which would be $1.8 million in revenue a year, but that's not even the number that I'm excited about. The number that keeps me going and wanting to do this is the amount of money that goes to charities. And that number with this model is $9 million. $9 million to charities. I broke it down yesterday, 667 birthday parties, give or take a few, is gonna allow me to give $1 million to charity. <clears throat> 
So how am I going to do that? 60,000 parties in a year sounds like a lot. This guy right here, he hosted 2.5 million birthday parties last year. That is one birthday party venue, one way parents are celebrating. I love Chuck E. Cheese, but I'm not celebrating there anymore. My kids are getting older. We have pool parties, skating parties, home parties. There's all different kinds of ways. This is just one way that people celebrate. And the beautiful thing is, we're not even competing with birthday party venues. We want to hold their hands. We'll manage the invitations. We'll manage the gifts. We'll have your, our, your party there. This is how I plan to get here. Um, obviously, cross-promotion with charities. Charities have everything to gain with this. They're making the most money out of this. So charities are going to uh, be more than willing to share content and to promote us in order, and they've already proven to have done so. I get about five to ten charities a month requesting to be on Kids Can Give Too with zero marketing, zero optimization, and I'm not touching base with any of them. That's just people who've heard about us. Obviously, we're going to optimize the site. If you come to a party, that means I sell one party to one host, and they've told 15 different people about it. So we can touch all those people that have been to a Kids Can Give To party, and we can optimize that to create organic growth. As a matter of fact, we have already proven some organic growth. We've had a little over 200 parties, and we've shown that 22% of the time, if you've gone to a Kids Can Give To party, the parents like the idea to actually book one for their child. This is my team, me, my sister, the developer that I have right now out of Canada, and my advisor, Paul Reynolds. We can obviously exit. There's going to be a lot of people who would be interested in acquiring a company like Kids Can Give To. And everybody wins with Kids Can Give To. Charities, kids, parents, and anybody else that's uh, investing in Kids Can Give To.